a la... Vote has been recorded. Please wait. That's fine. I stepped out of the AP room. I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. What the hell were you thinking? Did you hear anything I said? <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, I was. And yeah, I did. That's why I chose Ally. You told me that unless we were sure Alice would choose Ally, we had to vote betray. That means that if we do know Alice is going to pick Ally, we can too. So you're sure you know what she voted? Yeah, I guarantee Alice chose Ally. How do you know that? I guess you could say I just know. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. You was a Siggy! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock. Ember Dex game. Round one. The results. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Betray Ella. Ella, Ella, Ella. Betray. <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. Here are the results from your game! Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Hey Alice, what the hell is this? Excuse me? I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose Betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. <laughs> uh, but at last time you chose Ally for this round, so I was sure you... That's why I... No, why? Wait a minute. Last time? What on earth are you talking about? I thought you said you were sure. Thanks to you, now our BP is down to one. I take it Sigma was the one who made the decision? Yeah. Is that so? Well, he must be awfully naive. Who bets on a complete stranger like that? I agree. God damn it. Semi jaw and stomped away from Alice and Fi. My hands had balled themselves into fists, but my throat was tight and my eyes stung. Why? Why had she done it? Quark, Deal, and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm, almost happy. Thank you. I'm so happy you chose Ally. No problem. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Deal wanted to pick Betray. What? Uh, hey! Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six BP. And then, if we betrayed someone in the next round, we'd have nine. Oh, Dio, is this true? No, th that's not what happened at all. Kidding! I lied. <laughs> that was a joke. Mr. Dio <laughs> would never do joke. something like that. It was a joke? Yeah. Man, you, you really had me going there. <laughs> I really surprised you, huh? So you really were planning to choose Ally all along? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah. Exactly. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. I just 
didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Looks like there have been some sort of arguments between K Clover and Tenmyoji, although whatever it was seemed to have resolved itself amicably. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tenmyoji. Or Siggy. Oh, or maybe Fido. Or maybe everyone. What? Why? Mm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. I see. Phi Sigma and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. A moment to go over everything in my head. The mini game would continue until someone opened the number nine door. There were no rules about how many people could or couldn't pass through the number nine door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. Secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people so long as you had the right bracelets. The bracelets could only unlock under two conditions if you left the building or if your heart stopped. Oh, Sigma. Alice. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Are you still angry? Of course. I'm teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. And that's enough to justify screwing someone else it's over. It's not what I meant, and you know it. Mm. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally too. <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. What? Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? Yes. I have to get out of here. <laughs> There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Let's go to the quarters. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. Our options this time are, uh... We don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. Just pay attention. I'm only gonna say this once. If I laid out our options... Option A. Nulu and I pair up with Clover to open the green door. Samir so Dio pair up with Alice to open the red door. Kane Quark pair up with Phi to open the blue door. Option B. Nulu and I pair up with Phi to open the red door. Tamiyoji and Dio pair up with Clover to open the blue door. Kane Quark pair up with Alice to open the green door. Option C, Luna and I pair up with Alice to open the blue door. Tamiyoji and Dio pair up with Phi to open the green door. Kane Quark pair up with Clover to open the red door. 
Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay. How are we going to do this? We need a system here, or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? The most what? The people who only have one BP. Oh, so that would be me, you, and Tamyoji. No way. I refuse. <laughs> well, then what would you suggest? We'll be fair and take a vote. A vote. So we all just, like, raise our hands for the option we want? Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. Hell nah. Tough. Pick something else. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me. So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. So option B, then. I'd like to go with five. You go with that, Luna? Sure. I really don't mind. Then we've got three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. <laughs> you want to pair up with Alice? You're a strange duck. <laughs> How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. So two votes for A and three votes for B and C. If Clover's vote doesn't decide this thing, we're gonna have to figure something else out. Which one do you want, Clover? I... um... I wanna go with option C. Mark chose Ally in the first round, and I was with Kay in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Option C had won four votes. We're almost out of time, and I didn't exactly have a convincing argument. I was going to have to go with the majority. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. The doors are closing. Let's go! Come on, Luna, hurry up. <laughs> Gotta get to the blue door. Right. Luna, Alice, and I dashed toward the blue door. I looked over my shoulder in time to see the others disappearing into their doors. Clover, Quark, and Kay had ended up with the red door, and Fai, Dio, and Tomiyoshi had gone to the green door. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic doors closing. There are three doors here. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Well, there's a weird lever thing over here. Try pulling it. How about you try pulling it? Hey, what's with all this hostility? Are you still mad about the last AB game? Of course I am. Please don't fight. We need to work together, or we're really going to be in trouble. Please. <sighs> Very well. I'll pull the lever then. Is that okay? Yeah, go right ahead. See if I care. One of the doors opened. But only one. I wonder how you open the other ones. Who cares? We should get moving. At the garden. What is this place? Don't tell me somehow managed to get outside. 
Look up. There's a ceiling up there. I remember the door said B Garden or something. What's up, B Garden? It probably stands for something. Maybe beautiful? Huh. This feels like a whole other little world. Like an oasis in the middle of all this metal? I feel kind of weird saying this, considering where we are, but this place feels so liberating. All of this green. It's wonderful. It's huge, though. We'll wear ourselves ragged trying to search the whole thing. This must be the exit. Damn. Oh, so much of this being easy. It's locked. We should split up and look around. Agreed. Well, let's get to it then. Seek a way out. I think there's something here, but I can't really tell. What is this? There's a circular indentation in this panel, and there are two fan-shaped holes inside it. Look carefully. Those fans are connected. It looks like a butterfly. A butterfly, a butterfly, a butterfly, nothing. Shroom. There's a red spider mushroom growing in the shadow of this tree. What is that? Maybe I should get take a closer look. We're going to have to cross the water to get over there. Please be careful. If you slip, you could fall into the stream. So I think the blue arrow will move you from the current area to an adjacent one. Oh, I see something over there. Wow, they even made a waterfall. Hold on, doesn't it look like there's something into the rock wall behind the waterfall? Yeah, the walkway goes under it, doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. There are three red buttons on the panel. I pushed them, but nothing happened. Do you think they're broken? Maybe just need to press them in a specific order? Yeah, exactly. A shovel! Large shovel! Steel colored shovel. It's not rusty at all. Maybe keeping it in the shed kept it from rusting. It's had to be for digging stuff up. I can't think of any other use for it. Oh, Ooh, a key. Huh? There's something next to my pole. A bronze key. Small copper key. Probably goes in the keel. I mean, what else do you do with a key? I got a key. I got a key, I got a key... It looks like the dirt has been piled up in a few places. There's green moss growing on the top too. Do you think the mound here is higher than the others because someone dug up a bunch of dirt and piled it here? I don't know the right thing. It's like, I think I know how to dig it there, but I don't, I don't, still don't have the shovel. That I had it, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's try digging here. Box with a bronze lid. Hey, it's a box with a copper lid. Looks like it's locked. Torn scrap of paper. The piece of paper I got out of the copper box. One edge is rough, like it was torn. Ah. Okay, so there's three different boxes. <laughs> Where's that view of the garden? It's kind of like a map. What's that on the right? It looks like a box. I think it's a treasure chest. It's connected to the drawing above it, see? So I got that one luckily. So there's one by the shroom and one by white flowers. What's this? It's just a flower pot. There's nothing special about it at all. Wait. Don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do. Just trust me. I'm sure there's something under there. Hey. Except key. Small silver key. Probably goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? Ooh. 
What's that? What's that? What's that? Hey, it's a paprika? No, that's a pepper. Probably a bell pepper? Paprika is what you call the spice you make from them. Ah. Oh, huh. Why is it split in half? I'm not sure. Wait, is there something in there? Oh, yeah. Let me take a look. A yellow coin. I didn't think a colored coin would be made of metal. You can get lots of different colored coins by using different alloys. I saw a five cent coin made from brass once, and a testing coin made from bronze. I've seen people using a metal detector to search for coins on those shows where they hunt for treasure. Yeah, I guess if coins are metal, that would make sense. A yellow coin. Nothing with peppers. Pepper is split in half. This is where I found the yellow coin. The coin was inside this pepper, right? Maybe there are things in the other vegetables too? Ooh, maybe. Mm, that's not big enough. Looks like someone planted some onions here. Do you think there might be a coin in one of them? Uh, oh boy, alright. Let me figure out which one of these onions has the coin in it. Oh, we need. Okay, so I guess you give us the, the hint of I need a metal detector. We need a metal detector. What's a metal detector? Oh, there's the right flower stock. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> what do you know? A metal detector. This is a metal detector. It's pretty much what it says on the tin. It uses to detect metal. What sort of a range do you think it has? It depends on the amount of metal. Large objects can be detected even if they're several meters underground. That's amazing. What about small things like a ring or a screw? Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you can't find that sort of thing, even if it's only a few centimeters underground. Oh, so you need to be pretty close to it for the metal detector to work then. What is this? Two, two, three, ego eris. This is. Looks like a tombstone. So people buried here are Mr. Tu Fui and Mrs. Ego Eris? What? Well, that's what it says. Tu Fui Ego Eris. That's an epitaph. Epitaph? Something that they feel represents them, or just a phrase they like. What does it mean? It beats me. In Arizona? Looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. You see this? It looks like there's a keyhole down here, near the bottom. You're right. And I got a key by asking to fit there. Let's see if the key I've got works. Nope. Oh, look. I don't think this key is for this keyhole. Looks like there's some sort of tile mosaic on the bottom of the pond. A lion? Oh, it is a lion. Yeah. Looks like a lion, alright. Tile mosaic of a lion at the bottom of the pond. The first time you hear about the lion, I think, is through the note, huh? You're going to dig up the skunk cabbage? Poor thing. It's never done anything to you. Don't worry, I'll replant it when we're done. Box with the gold lid. I only have a circuit though, damn. Box with the gold lid, huh? Snazzy. Isn't opening though. Right. Oh, can I take that? Pedal scale. There's a plate on each side. On the right plate. A gold key! A small golden key. Probably goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? Orange scrap of paper, I don't think it's gonna fit, so I'm probably missing another piece of paper. Damn it. Piece of paper I got out of the gold box. It looks like it was torn off of another piece of paper. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. Can I combine these items? And on the left plate, a small knife. This looks like a paring knife? What's that? It's a knife you use for small, delicate work, like the de deveining shrimp, but you can use it to cut pretty much anything. It's awesome. Um, you know all about cooking and stuff. But Alice just cuts things with her bare hands. 
I guess it's time I showed you just how good I am at cooking things. I think I'll start by cooking you. Sorry. This is a balance scale. Oh, right. You can put things on the place to see what's heavier. I got a gold coin. I got a gold coin. Down scale, I can use it to weigh things. I don't have a reason to use it yet. Looks like there's just enough room for two on this bench. Why are you looking at me? Oh, no reason. Oh, this one, it's reacting to this onion. All right, let's dig it up. This is the only one that got a reaction, right? Freshly excavated onion. The metal detector went off when I waved it over this onion, right? That must mean there's metal in there. A white coin. A white coin I found in an onion. Okay. I still don't know what that is, there might still be more. Oh! The metal detector seems to be responding to this tomato! Alright, grab it. <coughs> Get. You made me sick, boy! Ah! <coughs> Direct any of the others? No, just this one. Here you go. Freshly picked tomato. I detect the right to just something inside this tomato. Right? There must be some metal in there, then. <coughs> a red coin. A reddish coin I found in a tomato. A red coin. Right, and then finally... Oh look, the metal detector is reacting to this one. Okay, can you grab that one, then? Alright. Any others cause any reaction? No, just this one. Here you go. First you picked cucumber. This cucumber is the one that the metal detector reacted to, right? And there must be something inside it. Ugh. Oh, wrong one. There we go, a green coin. A greenish coin I found in the cucumber. I don't have to do with these things yet, but I do need to go back to the shroom. What the hell? What is this? Metal rod. Metal shaft. Tip has an octagonal hole. It looks kind of like a wrench. Metal rod. How did I miss that? I didn't look left. I guess I didn't look left. <laughs> I thought it did. Hmm. Shovel, shovel. The right spot of mushroom. I think I'll try digging here. <coughs> box with a silver lid. This box is a silver lid. Hmm, can't get it open. Doubly torn scrap of paper. A piece of paper I got out of the silver box. Two opposing edges on it are torn. Paper with dots. Paper with dots. This piece of paper has seven red dots on it and an arrow running down the left edge. Maybe we're supposed to read this in the direction of the arrow? Looks like the dots are all either in the middle, on the left, or on the right. Oh, okay, I know, I know how to do this. I know, I know. I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> it's for this! So left, right, left, right, right, left, middle, middle, right. The waterfall stopped. I guess that was the waterfall control panel. And I lost the note. Maybe I could have examined it or something. Oh, too bad now. Put a rod over with you. Something over here, maybe. 
Oh, and, oh, and coins. The indentations are small and circular, so we probably need something that matches that description. Do you have anything like that? Small and circular, huh? There are four indentations in the metal plate that look like they would fit the coins. I'm guessing just putting coins and holes roundly won't do as much good. There are less than signs in between all of the indentations. I bet that has something to do with which coins go where. The coins are all the same shape and size, though. How are we supposed to compare them? Wait. Wait? I think I saw a scale around here somewhere. You can use that to compare weights. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Can't do anything until they say something about it. A balance scale? I can you use this to see how heavy things are? I should weigh the coins with this, huh? Hold the X button to grab coins and use the directional buttons to place them on the plate. Release the X button to release the coin. Compress that check button on the scale to compare the weights of the coins placed on it. Once you finish weighing them, press the reset button. So yellow over there, green over there. Green is heavier, yellow is lighter, so green is heavier, is white heavier, green is still heavy, so so far green is the heaviest, what about red, green is the heaviest, so green is the heaviest, which one will be next, let's go with yellow, and white, yellow is heavier, so yellow and red, Yellow is second heaviest, so green, yellow. Failed. What? They just flew everywhere. Do you think it's broken? Let's see. Oh, I get it. If you use the scale more than five times, it triggers the spring, which makes the whole thing shake. It'll do the same thing if you stop using it before you've reached five times. Alright, we need to pick up all the coins. Oh, well, now I've got the coins. Hold the X button to grab coins. Press the check. I was just checking to see which ones are heavier. I didn't know this was a puzzle. Can't figure it out. Alright, uh. So, white. Which one's heavier, white or red? White's heavier. So, red is the lightest. It's both red and green. White and yellow? Is that alright? Uh... Oh, I don't to do with that. <laughs> oh, they went everywhere again. I guess we can't just take our time here. We'll give you two more tries to try and figure out the weight. If you can't manage it, we're going to have to take over. She's right. If we keep this up, the scale might break. If we start the scale game again after playing it twice, the difficulty level will be automatically changed to easy. Well, now I've got the coins. It's like all this thing, it's like I forgot which ones were lighter. I think red was heavier, so white is the wall. So it's green, yellow, red. Ugh, I don't know what is going on. I was just, just trying to figure this out, man. What's that noise? It sounded like something unlocking. I guess it wasn't just a panel, it was actually a door. And there's a screen inside of it. What the hell? It's showing nine stars. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? Press the start buttons to this correct order. What? <laughs> what?
Oh my god. Um, I can't figure it out. You can do it. I don't know what to do. What the hell am I supposed to do? That's probably the most confusing room. Because I don't know what to do with the scales. I thought I had to make them equal, but I guess not. And then over th then this thing over here, I'm gonna have to do something with stars, and I didn't see anything with stars in it. I don't know what to do with this, though. What do I do with this? Metal rod. Metal rod. Metal rod. Metal rod that. I don't think that'll fit. You need something that's the right shape to fit in that hole. Oh shoot, I thought it looked like it was about the right size. So I'm missing something else for that. Well, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, what else am I missing? What else am I missing? What else is there? See if I can solve puzzle then. Can I that it makes me have to go to easy mode because I don't know what I'm doing? Ah oh, crap. It might look easy, but it sure isn't. What the hell? Alright, I need, I need to restart anyways because I missed out on that puzzle over there because of the coins. I thought I could take them out, but I won't let me take them again. Save right now. What time is it? It is about three o'clock. Three o'clock. Eh? <sighs> um. I can speed up. What the fuck? What can, what can I speed up? Try this again. <laughs> I missed something. Okay, la 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 la. la. Nothing over here, huh? Yeah, nothing. Nothing's here. I missed this the first time. Things over here, which is key. That's true, Sigma. Is this shed your house? You must be going through a rough time. <laughs> Hell, did I miss? <laughs> Our shovel. What did I miss? <laughs> I right, try digging here. Nothing. Oh. 
tell me what to do. So that matters is the coin over here. Some metal. Jeez. Is this all I needed? What the heck is the point of the scales then? If this is all I needed. Because if I had thought the scales were a piece of those, so if there's a ready, I can just open that up. Level lever handle. <clears throat> I made this by combining this some things I found. It looks like some kind of handle. It looks like somebody just tore the handle off a of door. If you put the butterfly end into something, you could probably use it just like a handle. So is the scales not a piece of the puzzle then? I just do this again for no reason. Uh, now I get the metal detector again. It's gonna be a bit annoying. Damn it. Finally...
Okay, so I guess... What is this? I'm just curious what like, this is now that I officially have the full part now. I don't know if it's directly to the hole in the wall. Good, now try turning it. Whoa. I'm gonna turn the handle, it got dark. It looks like the light up there went down. Maybe that light was a sort of surrogate sun? If that's the case, it didn't just get dark, it became nighttime. So the garden needs nighttime? I guess so. Or maybe there's some hidden meaning in switching from night to day? Let's go see if anything's changed now that it's dark. If we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the handle, right? Yeah. So let's go look at that. Whoa. Hey, look at that. Are these stars? Maybe the idea was that when night falls, the stars come out. Hmm. So we got a blue star. Oh, please tell me so. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Green, red. Purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Now, now I know the answer. Oh my gosh. Star showed up once the night fell. I wonder if there's some significance to that. Anything with this? I saw something red. The light is right underneath it. This is a big star. So far I found one star. I feel like I need to figure out the size as well. Shoot. So red is definitely last. Green should be first. Uh green yellow? Blue, what was purple? How big is purple? Because I think yellow's in the middle. Purple, so green, purple, yellow, blue, red. Let's see. I remember this one, so. Oh, it's dark. Ay, ay, ay. Light that went down when you turned the night on came back up. So now the sun is out, and it's gone from night to afternoon. Okay, so I remember this one. It is... <laughs> I said I remember it again. Hold on. It is... Sound like something unlocking. <clears throat> this was just final. Actually, it was actually a door. And there's a screen inside of it. Okay. What are you supposed to do with them? Oh, why don't you try touching them? So, green, purple, yellow, blue, red. Maybe the other way. Red, blue, yellow, purple, green. There we go. Okay, that was the other way. From biggest to smallest, eh? Yeah, <laughs> that's so. Thought so. You did it! Hey, check out the screen. Hey. Huh? Wait, this is the safe password. You have found a safe password to be able to navigate it to the past tab in the archive. <clears throat> oh, so I wasn't done. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. Now I gotta do the pattern that show me in order. <clears throat> so it was purple, blue, yellow, a green, and red. Awesome. Solved it. Good work. Look at the screen. Whoa, what's going on? The screen's changed? 
Yeah, found a safe password to view and navigate to the past tab in the archive. Alright. <clears throat> so sun, moon, sun, sun, moon, sun, sun, moon, sun, sun, moon, sun. Is this safe, right? It looks like one at least. There was a safe that looked like this in the crew quarters too. Let's see if we can get it to open. So sun, moon, a sun. Hey, yes, it opened. You did it! Good job, Sigma. You found a gold file to view of the secret tab in the archives. Secret! Ice 9 to Soyce. Ice 9 is a special form of water with a melting point of 36 degrees Celsius. In other words, it freezes at room temperature. The idea of Ice-9 was originally put forth by the American science fiction author Kurt Vonnegut. His version of Ice-9 is a melting point of 45.8 degrees Celsius. There is rumor that says all the water in Alice's body is actually Ice-9. Who knows whether it's true or not, but if it is, then she has to always keep her body temperature above 36 degrees Celsius. <coughs> um, H. So first to Gintaro Hongo. He was one of the characters who appeared in Nine Hours and Persons Nine Doors. He was the person who supervised the kidnapping of the children who participated in the Noner game in 2018. He is the CEO of Crypto Pharmaceuticals and a devoted follower of Free the Soul. Oh. Well then. This theory holds that there is a sort of field where the form, structures, patterns, and shirt of everything in reality are stored. It includes abstract things like language, song, thoughts, inspiration, culture, customs, and ideas. Any information contained, transmitted, or created by matter is held in the morphogenetic field. In the Zero Escape series, people who can communicate by assessing this field are known as espers. If morphogenetic field theory is true, however, then it would mean that, in a sense, all humans are espers of a sort. <coughs> Immunoglobin is an important part of the body's defense against viruses, bacteria, and other invaders. It identifies and neutralizes certain threats. The IG replicator found in the lab gets its name from immunoglobin. Immunoglobin. I don't like that word. Integer factorization. Factorization is the process of reducing a number to a series of numbers that, when multiplied together, give the original number. When taken to its logical conclusion, this will yield a list of prime numbers. For the purpose of factorization, 1 is not considered a prime. Example of prime factorization, 210, 2 times 3 times 5 times 7, 900, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5, 107 equals 107. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 107 can only be divided by themselves or 1, which makes them primes. A relatively well-known Latin phrase, it might look like it's talking about a pair of sexy toaster waffles, but it actually means something like, what you are, I was, what I am, you will be. Sometimes used as an ep epitaph, the implication is that the person in question was once alive like the reader, but that the reader will soon someday also be dead. A little ominous, I guess. Damn. Special Office of Internal Security, or SOIS, is an elite intelligence organization under the jurisdiction of the Department of Defense. They investigate potentially disruptive or dangerous elements such as domestic or foreign terrorists, radical political splinter groups, and religious organizations with extreme agendas that could pose a threat to the state of the or the citizenry. Their stated purpose is to maintain peace, but their character authorizes them to arrest, detain, or even kill. Scary. <coughs> They've got a lot to go. It's got everything from one through five. Six, six, though. Oh, interesting. Right, next. Okay. Uh, the star, star, star. Easy, easy, easy. Star, star, star. Completed. All right. What do I get? Oh, it opened again. Is there something inside? There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's have a look at it then. First off, this looks like a map. On the upper left, it says floor B. That might be found in the screw quarters, said floor A. So A is the top floor and B is the bottom floor? I mean, I know we took the elevator down to get here, so. Right. Let's keep going. There are more things in the safe. 
This is... The key card. It has a moon on it. That means... Yeah, this is the moon card that the announcement was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why? Well, you're solo. You and I'll take one and you take the other one. Right. Thanks. So what do we got next? Looks like a piece of paper. What the hell? <laughs> Nevada test site, right zone 9. What is this? Some kind of diagram? It doesn't make any sense. I wonder what it is. Oh, just forget about it for now. You can always come back to it later. There's two more things in here. What's this? It looks like a note. It says IG equals immunoglobulin. What's immunoglobulin? It's another word for an antibody. You mean like the thing in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So what is this supposed to tell us? Honestly, I have no idea. The only thing left is this key. That must be the key to the exit. Yes, I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. <laughs> That's my only item. It's the key. Awesome. What are we waiting for? Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I guess we're just doors like right here. It says lock on it, so it's probably the lock for this door. Alright, let's open this door. Yes, let's. Please do. Here we go. Three, a two, a one. We found it. No sooner had we stepped out of the garden than I saw the three people I had watched leave through the green door sometime earlier. Whoa! What are you guys doing here? I'm gonna be asking you the same thing. How do you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. Map? Alright. I take the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Mm, yep. And yeah. which room did you go into? This fan shaped one? It's called the Bee Garden. <clears throat> fan shaped. Oh, the one on the right? What's it called? A fan. I like the red is like all the biggest rooms. Red is the biggest, green is the smallest, and blue is in the middle. Bee Garden? There's this big dome with a bunch of plants in it? Look, you can go see it yourself later, right? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. Hmm. And then we met up. Right here. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You want to have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. So? Sure, let's have a look. If you want us a brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. Treatment center. What are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Whoa, that's nuts. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. <laughs> what the hell? Wanna start something, lady? It surely does. Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit, and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Wait. Did you say cold sleep? That's where they freeze you, right? And you can stay that way for a really long time? Yeah. According to some records we found in here, 
Until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were... We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. How long were they here? No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up. That's it. Then they could be anyone. Well, anyone but you. What? Well, why not us? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. It freezes at 96.8 huh. degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh man, you fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. Seemingly no other from prompting Alice launched into a lengthy examination. And once something like this... <clears throat> At some point in the past, someone found a frozen, mummified Egyptian queen. What was curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually became simply Alice. Rumors that her body was made of Ice 9 began to circulate in her bizarre refusal to thaw when it compounded them. They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really? How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. Well, why would people make that mistake about you in particular? It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? <sighs> I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I could see you're doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. <clears throat> the cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. Now, as his request, we made our way out of the treatment center. This is... It looks like another warehouse. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think...
This might be the next set of chromatic doors. I'd bet on it. Look, they've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. So the next set of doors are white? They haven't all been the same color before. Well, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Right. Let's head back to 4A. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. What's up? You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Something happened? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him, but his condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Can we always just shove K aside and up through the yellow door? The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. <coughs> Quark! Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Miyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped them. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? Then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save him? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. Mm. Oh, son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. All right. Well, I've got Luna. Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Yes, but... You have to take a look at him then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. So that thing can tell us what's wrong with him? With Quark? Yes. <clears throat> I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. No process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body, and within seconds, his results lit up the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. Have you heard of this virus? Radical 6, I mean? Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. 
Fai and I heard about it from Luna. Theo and Luna were two of the first people to investigate the infirmary. They must have seen the new super clipping that Quark found. I stayed behind after the AB game, and they'd all split up and gone into different rooms. It seemed like one way or another, everyone had heard about Radical Six. No. He can't... How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible! Something about the tone of his voice seems strange. Why was it possible? Had Tamiyoji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we could do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? We looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. I'm asking you. I'm sorry, but Theo's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? No, nothing like medicine. I mean, it was just like a park. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine. But nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Oh god. He's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Now just be sure, three of you went to the treatment center, right? And you're sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Treatment pods. That's it. We were quirking one of those pods. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... How? Like... This! Quark's hand moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight toward his heart. Stop! No! Let go! Let go of me! Mm. Pretty tough for a kid. Hey guys, could use a hand here. Uh, yeah, right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Samyoji, what the hell are you doing? Get over here! Samyoji! Can you even hear me? Oh, right. Damn you! Bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Ah! <laughs> Jesus, kids lost it. Hey, somebody get that scalpel away from him. Good. Thanks, whoever that was. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? 
They're Super L Beta. Super L? That's the anesthetic! The one that's in our bracelets! Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay. Let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Stop! <sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Alright, guess you're good for now. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> that the Why truth? Why I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Park tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six, too? Yes. At least, I think so. so what kind of virus is Radical Six? Uh, what are you doing? I turned and followed Tenmyoji's gaze. Oh, crap. <laughs> there stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. Apparently she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him or for some other more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark had a moment ago than I was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. Alice? Hey, are you feeling okay? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults. Children! Everyone! Everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! Wait! Alice! They were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and leaped through the door. Damn it! I shook myself and took off after her. But those few moments of hesitation had put too much distance and too many doors between us. Shit! Which way did she go? Right. Left. I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured out of the infirmary. You lost her! Yeah. I don't know which way she went. Well, let's split up and look. Quickly. She can't have gotten too far. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Tenmyoji, I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? Yeah. I stay here. 
Got it. All right, let's move, people. Get going. At Fire's command, we scattered, filtering off into the different doors. As I ran, I thought, where should I look for Alice? Perhaps the lounge would be a good, I bet. here, huh? Damn. Where did she go? Complaining wasn't going to help anything. I needed to go look somewhere else. Nothing in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If we hadn't stopped Quark. Need to hurry. Head to the garden next. a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Alice? Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I huh? just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. And she's uh, alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. She's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Right. Alice was lighter than I expected. Bye, and I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. On our way back, Fi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Una spoke. Oh, no. No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. What about those pods in the treatment center? Can we just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... They can't cure Correct. it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. 
But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. As he spoke, Tamiyoji moved over to Quark and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted slightly as Tamiyoji moved him, and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. I bent down slowly and picked it up. Accelerator. Is this medicine? What? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Axel... Axel... Axelavir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six! Uh... Why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. Laboratory... Hit Whether it? or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it! Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Uh, hey, hold on a minute! What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. While we all stood stunned, Fi moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. That one bottle was it. You think there might be some more back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh god. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Or Quark? What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. What are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's, um... I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. If it was there, I knew it. I don't have the ending yet. Mm.